Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is June 27th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery, and you can see the pretty good marine push last night and this morning. You can see it budding all the way up against the Cascades, well into the valleys here. Check out Mount Rainier. Looks like the marine layer got nearby here. We'll check that out on the webcam next. And you see, we're going to be doing this again. Cascades East, thunderstorm activity. You can see the clouds and that moisture across the region here. We're going to do this at least another couple of days here before this starts to push east. We start to build a ridge here across Pacific Northwest and warm up even a bit more here across the area. We'll check out those details here in a moment. Now, this is looking at Paradise. Check it out. You can see that marine layer crept all the way up into some of the higher terrain yesterday out there. And as you can see, that just off into the hills there, the uh, visitor center right here, and some old snowfall there. Otherwise, some pretty nice blue sky across some of the higher terrain. But again, watch out for some thunderstorm development during the day today. This is something interesting here. Check it out. Total Sky UV Index. So if I scroll through this, this, this is looking at the North Pole, so you can kind of see that since we are pointed at the sun this time of year, you can see that UV index just kind of circle around there, and you can see the polar areas getting a lot more sunshine than they would during the winter time. And if you want another look at that here, here's the global view. There's Africa, South America, the United States is right here. Check it out as you scroll through the hours of the daytime. You can see that index, a UV index roll across the planet. Check out Mexico there. Better have a hat if you're out there in some of the higher terrain. Very strong sun. Now this is back to the Pacific Northwest here. Thunderstorm outlook. Check it out today day even a chance for some thunderstorms across some of eastern washington here frequent lightning heavy rain hail locally strong gusty winds with the thunderstorms and watch out for the flooding potential especially across some of the north cascades here and some of the higher terrain and you can see even snoqualmie and stevens pass could get a thunderstorm today as well this is looking pendleton oregon you can see best chance across some of the blue mountains here off into idaho and montana and they do show that potential for some of the cascades of oregon and washington also this is all the way out to missoula montana here and you can see some heavier rainfall Tuesday and Wednesday before we start to cut back on the thunderstorms here as we go on later through the week. But still, Montana might still be under the gun here as we go on to the end of the week as well. This is day one thunderstorm outlet Cascades East. Day two, something similar. And day three, you can see that kind of pushing off towards Idaho and Montana here, leaving the Cascades of Washington, Oregon alone, at least for a time. Now, this is something interesting here. You can see if you look at these black lines, that is 18,000 feet, 500 millibars. You see the big ridge of high pressure over Texas here. And the color coding here is at 850 millibars, so about 5,000 feet. It's a nice combination here, and it shows the very warm air aloft associated with this ridge here down across Texas. So you can kind of see that ridge hanging on here, and we're going through the into the extended forecast here ridge hangs on but watch what happens see that heat start to pivot back to the west here as we start to get some ridging across some of the western coast of north america however you notice this trough here it's going to be keeping some semblance of a, some onshore flow to keep the pacific northwest from getting too warm but you can clearly see the ridge building down here across california and some of the desert southwest here as we go on into the extended forecast pretty nice looking graphic here i like seeing the combination of 18,000 feet and 5,000 feet on the same map there this is looking at the European last night's run, three hour precipitation. Um, here we go. Thunderstorm activity again across the Cascades. Again, where everyone, some of these storms set up here, you can get some flooding issues across the higher terrain there. And we're going to do that one more day on Wednesday. You can see some of that activity across the Cascades, a little bit less on Wednesday. And then you can see that activity starting to push off to the east and relaxing a bit here across the Pacific Northwest. You can see some activity, but not near as much as previous days. Go on in through Friday afternoon. You kind of see that trend continue here with that thunderstorm activity kicking off to the east. This is looking at lightning flash density potential, the high resolution rapid refresh, the HER. Actually, let's back up to the 12Z so we can go ahead and look out 48 hours here. And if I put this into motion, you can see the development of the thunderstorms today across the Cascades, BC, Idaho, Montana, some of Oregon as well. You see the spin in the atmosphere there. I'm going to do that again Wednesday, possibly into the Cascades again. And then Thursday, it's going to move off to the east a bit here. So heads up, eyes in the sky, especially for off in the backcountry in the higher terrain. This is Seattle yesterday, 74, almost a perfect summer day here across Pacific Northwest. One degree above average, no precip, none expected. And you can see what happened two years ago on the day yesterday. We were at 102 degrees at SeaTac and 104 on this day two years years ago and then 108 on june 28th the most impressive heat wave ever in pacific northwest history was two years ago on these three days this is looking at the national blend of models check it out nice warm day on tap again today as long as that marine layer does burn off but it's going to suppress the temperatures a bit here so i these may be overdone a little bit across some of the puget sound however let's go ahead and look at that 
and back up here. Oh, this doesn't want to run for us here today. Let's go ahead and check this. Let's look at the latest run so we can look at Tuesday. It's just still not updating for us here, though. Let's go ahead and check the European then. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and scroll through the day. So we go on into Wednesday. This would be Thursday afternoon shown there. You can see 100 degrees possible for some, some portions of eastern Washington. And we go on to Friday afternoon again. You can see above average temperatures continuing on for the Pacific Northwest. And look at California starting to bake. I'll have to do a video on that today. Some impressive heat. Looks like it's coming down south for our friends down the coast there. This is looking at Seattle Tacoma International. This is the European Ensemble members. Check it out. Above average temperatures for the next week or so. The GFS. This one goes out, what, over two weeks here. And you can see the above average temperatures with some potential for higher temperatures in there if you believe the gfs including the fourth of july look at that 86 degrees here may might be a nice hot fourth of july here for a lot of us across pacific northwest 10-day precipitation anomaly big dry signal here across much pacific northwest maybe a little bit above average some with some thunderstorm activity across the blue mountains and through the idaho rockies here into montana but for the most part seattle vancouver bc portland not expecting precipitation at all over the next 10 days through july 7th this is looking at total precipitation. This is the next 90 hours. Let's just fly through here. You can see the thunderstorm activity potential across the Cascades, the Blue Mountains, the Rocky Mountains here, but nothing for Seattle, Portland, Vancouver here, all the way through 90 hours here. And even the 10-day period is probably not going to show much more as well. So definitely a dry time of the year for the Pacific Northwest. This is looking at 6 to 10 day precipita uh, temperature probability outlook. And you can clearly see the bullseye here across much of the West Coast. 8 to 14 day, not much change there. Uh, this goes out through July 10th. Now here's 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook. Does include the uh, Pacific Northwest here. 8 to 14 day as well. Oh, there is a slightly above average signal here. This is probably just due to thunderstorm activity. It's going to be kind of hit and miss there. This is looking at the drought monitor. They have not updated this in a few days, but you can see the moderate drought across the Cascades, Oregon, Idaho, Montana. So watch out there if you're in the back country for those fire starts. This is looking at sea surface temperature anomaly. We did get a new update today, but it just kind of shows the same thing. La Nina in our rear view mirror here, the equatorial Pacific waters. You can see how cold they were as we went through last winter, but then you see the warm up here across South America and eventually across the equatorial Pacific here as we are now into almost moderate uh, El Nino conditions. We're actually right on the threshold of moderate as we speak. And this is the CFS forecast. This updates every day, June 27th, and actually ticked upward a bit here, but you can see we are likely heading Headed towards a strong El Nino coming up, and we are right on the threshold of moderate El Nino already as we speak. So that's something we'll definitely be watching again here as we go. And I'll probably do another El Nino video in the upcoming months as well, just to kind of update things and kind of take into account the forecast coming up for this season as well. So anyway, I hope you guys are liking these videos here. You know, get out there. Hope hopefully the sun burns off for you. Unless you guys like that marine layer out there, then I hope it stays around for you. But going to do this thunderstorm thing again, Cascades East for the next couple days and then that's going to push off and we're going to start to build a bit of a ridge here and especially down across the south but we might keep some of that onshore flow around to keep our temperatures suppressed from getting too hot but looks like we're going to be above average so anyway hope you guys are liking these videos click like subscribe and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow